Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the second shelf and to another TBR video. I really, I'm really getting the hang of making these videos and then not sticking to the TBR. But you know me, that that's me. But still, it's a first step to at least make TBR videos and then try to stick to them. Um, and the last TBR video I made was for Pride Month because June is Pride Month. But we also celebrate the Caribbean in June with Caribbean. Um, and that is organized by, among other people, Karen from Run Right Reads. And I will leave a link to her announcement video down below in which she also gives suggestions of books of all the territories and countries and islands. So if you want to participate in Caribbean, uh, but need suggestions, more suggestions than I give you here in this video, go check out Karen's. Um, the official Caribbean runs from the 9th of June to the 18th, but I do the same thing like with the Queer Lit Readathon and Springathon. For me, it's just a whole month. Uh, so my month of June is partly Pride Month and partly uh, Carib Caribbean literature, so Caribbean. And I have uh, a couple of books who actually qualify for both uh, readathons, so that's that's nice to you know one book two stones or the other way around. But anyway, so I will talk about those books only briefly because I already mentioned them um, in my video, uh, the Pride Month uh, TBR video. Um, and the first one, and I should also say I have seven books, so I can't cover all uh, the islands and territories and countries, and it's also Trinidad heavy, because the first three books are from uh, authors from Trinidad. And the first one um, is uh, 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 by Shani Mutu, and I have to look that up so that I'm not getting this wrong. Moving forward sideways like a crab. Isn't that a fascinating title? Fantastic. Um, and I got the recommendation for this particular book uh, from... Um, a wonderful booktuber, um, Books Are My Social Life, uh, Sajid from Books Are My Social Life. And this is a coming of age story, kind of. We follow Jonathan, uh, uh, but we also follow him when he is an adult and tries to reconnect with his parents, especially uh, his mother, Sid, who left the family, uh, family lived in Toronto, moved back to Trinidad. And when Jonathan tracks um, uh, his mother down, uh, he realizes that his mother is now a man and his second father, so to speak. So that is the premise of the story. Um, and the second book that I uh, that sort of doubles up uh, is a book that uh, Sean the Book Maniac, Maniac featured, and I will leave a link to his video with the author down below. And that is, of course, Ingrid Persaud, uh, Love After Love. Um, and we follow the family story. Uh, we have a um, mother uh, uh, and her, her son, and then uh, a colleague of the mother moves in with them, but then something happens and the family splits up, um, and plot ensues from there. If you want to know more about the book, uh, watch uh, the interview that uh, Sean made with the author, um, and if you can wait, you can also watch my video, which I will make when once I've read it. So those are the two books uh, that I read for Pride Month, as well as for Caribbean literature in June. And the third book, uh, also from Trinidad, from an author from Trinidad, is Golden Child by Claire Adam. And that book was published, uh, I'm prepared as hell, 2019. And this book was on my radar. Uh, it was on, on a list for me to read. I forgot who recommended it to me, because it's I think a child narrator, we follow um, uh, twin brothers, Clyde and Paul, and when Paul disappears, it's set uh, on Trinidad, and when Paul disappears, uh, Clyde and his father go looking for him in the bush, in, in the, uh, and then, you know, something happened, or it becomes clear why he disappeared. Uh, but it, the book was recommended to me, I don't, really don't remember by whom, so if it you were the one recommending it to me, tell me, because uh, the person said, this is a book with a child narrator that might work for you. Because as you know, if you follow my channel, I mostly, child narrators don't work for me. So I'm I'm really curious to see whether that is true. And it's not uh, a big book, so I, so I should be able uh, to read it quickly and then see whether it's indeed true that the child narration worked for me. 
Book number four uh, is uh, from Barbados, Bar- author from Barbados, Barbadian, whatever, an author from Barbados. And it's also a debut and it's also shortlisted for the Women's Prize. So I'm reading it uh, not only for Caribbean or Caribbean authors, but also, um, as you know, I read all the six books shortlisted for the Women's Prize, and I will make separate reviews of all of them. And of course, I'm talking about this one, How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Cherry Jones uh, from Barbados. And the book is set on Barbados. And we follow, um, it's set in Baxter Beach, um, on Baxter Beach, I should say, and Lala's grandmother, Wilma, uh, uh, tells uh, uh, Lala the cautionary tale of what happens to girls when they disobey their mothers. Uh, and for Wilma, it's the story of a willful adventurer who ignores the warnings warnings of those around her and suffers as a result. So we'll see. Um, and I know uh, that uh, Greg from Supposedly Fun really loved the book. Uh, so I'm I'm very much looking forward to it, of course, uh, because you know me and the Woman's Prize. We don't always gel that much, and I've read already a couple of the six and wasn't wasn't charmed. So we'll see. Let's hope that this one is one of the exceptions that I'm really, really uh, uh, loving. Uh, fingers crossed. Next up is an author from Puerto Rico um, that I haven't read anything by yet. That's probably true for all the authors I'm mentioning, and that is Rosario Ferre, the house, the house on the Lagoon, first published in 1995. So it's a little bit older, and this book was one of the books um, that Karen read for her book club. She reads uh, two novels from a Caribbean island territory or land each month, and she featured this one, I think, in in February or March. But I've never gotten around to reading it, so I thought Caribbean. Finally, I will read it. Um, the book is set uh, in Puerto Rico, and we follow um, uh, a family, a husband. His name is Quentin, uh, a wealthy businessman. And one day he discovers um, a manuscript written by his wife, Isabel, um, and he learns stuff about the marriage that he'd rather not know. And then, you know, it's about the, the family, but it's also about um, secrets, about Puerto Rico and the, the, the background of the political uh, situation in Puerto Rico in the 1990s. So, yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever read an author from Puerto Rico. Uh, I'm not good in the Carib- uh, Caribbean author thing. So I'm really happy uh, that things like the Caribbean exist, even if I don't... Um, you know, adhere fully to when the re- the, the readathon takes place, and I never do any prompts, or at least hardly ever. But at least it 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 it's really for me an incentive to look at my reading and uh, look and search out authors from, in this instance, a certain area, or with Pride Month from LGBTQ plus authors. So I'm I'm really grateful for all the readathons, even if I don't do them as they are supposed to. <laughs> as you are supposed to, but I'm still grateful. Book number six on my TBR for the Caribbean month um, is a book that we read for Mel's book club, Read Around the World book club, which was, as you know, probably from uh, she transferred it from Goodreads to her blog. As always, I will leave a link to her blog um, down below. And in June, we will travel to Antigua and we will read Jamaica Kincaid's very, very short essay, I would say, memoir essay, uh, A Small Place, about her growing up uh, in um, St. John's and on Antigua. So uh, Jamaica Kincaid is one of the authors. I actually did read um, two or three books. She was born in 1949 uh, in St. John's on Antigua. And like I said, this one I haven't read, so it's not a reread, but this one is kind of an essay uh, about uh, her growing up about the home place, the small place, um, and it's lyrical and sardonic and forthright, and it magnifies our vision of one small place with precision. So, yeah, I, you know I love memoirs or books about a place. Um, actually, I could even extend Spring of Fun <laughs> into June and read them. No, I'm just kidding. So this one I uh, uh, is... Uh, 
a Caribbean read, but also the June read for Mel's book club. And the seventh and final book that I'm planning on reading, you know, TBR planning more or less, um, is this one also a debut novel, Macy Card, These Ghosts Are Family, published last year, 2020. Um, this was also one of Karen's picks for her book club for Jamaica, because the author is Jamaican and the book is also set uh, on Jamaica. Um, and I, it was in February, I think, and I read most of it, um, but not all of it. And then I forgot about it and I left it um, and didn't pick it up. And I can't remember. Uh, it was not that great of a time in February for reading for me. So I thought I'm going to restart and read it again. And this time properly. <laughs> um, the premise, because the premise and what I remember from the book, I really liked. And the premise is fascinating. We have the, the main character, Stanford Solomon, and he kept a secret for almost 40 years, 35 years, um, because he is actually a different person, Abel, uh, and he faked his death. And he had a family back then when he was Abel, and he faked his death. And when we are now towards the end of his life, um, he will meet with his firstborn daughter, Irene. Uh, for the first time again, you know, it's 35 years. The premise is really, yeah, it really grabbed me. Um, and um, uh, it, the, I know that Heidi uh, from My Reading Life really enjoyed the book, but it was just me back then. I tried to rush the book and you know how it goes. But anyway, so one Jamaican author, the fifth and final book for my Caribbean readathon. Caribbean kind of. So those were the seven picks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know uh, whether you plan on reading any Caribbean authors um, in uh, June, maybe even really participating in the Caribbean. I mean, not like I do, but really the way you're supposed to. Um, I'm looking forward to your comments as always, and I'll see you all soon in the next one.